Yo, what's going on guys? This is Kakback here with another Animal Jam video and in today's video guys, we're going over the new crystals in Animal Jam and how you can get them for yourself so you can craft items in the game. So, in the latest Animal Jam updates, we saw the addition of crafting crystals. So, uh, this is saying here those corrupt mirror statues, which if you do fight these, you will be uh, dropped a, a numerous amount of items. But it says here, those corrupt mirror statues attacking Jama, they are dropping colored crystals if you defeat them, which can be used to craft items. Now, all the colors of the crystals, I think there's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, the one for each color, and then there's also frost crystals, I believe. Um, I'll put them all on screen if I get any wrong or I'm missing any, but you can get all these crystals and how you exactly get these crystals, you can get them from various ways around the game. So uh, conveniently enough, a mirror, uh, corrupt mirror statue just uh, spawned in right beside me. So you can defeat these by using paint seed launchers. If you already have a paint seed launcher, you can just get paint seeds from either the phantom dimension or paint seed trees which you can buy in the sapphire shop and then you can just fight the mirror statue like you would fight a phantom in the phantom dimension or a phantom in the regular game uh, when that was a thing a couple months back kind of the same premise and uh, you know I don't know the exact drop rates if you get a color crystal every time or not I'll put it on screen as well I'm sure there is some information on the wiki already but uh, that is one way to get these colored crystals also um, on the screen right now you will see this is in in the digging mini game that you know uh, these yellow spades that will spawn around the map you can get uh chests alpha chests and also gems from and also unknown fossils we can also get colored crystals now from this as well as you can see there was two purple colored crystals in this screenshot here i just randomly picked up the shovel and unfortunately missed out on these two but you can also get these from the colored uh you can also get these colored crystals in the spade now also and i don't think that was even mentioned anywhere around the update either so there could be other ways um i'm not too sure of any other ways right now so if you know of any drop them in the comments um and i'll you know heart your comments so make i'll make sure people can see it so without further ado you know how to get color crystals now what can you do with them so there is a new area in the lost temple of Zios, obviously called the crafting lab i'll just show it from its outside point of view right here and uh these mirrors statues by the way they've spawned pretty fast as well it's the fastest i've ever spawned uh, i've ever seen some of these things spawn so it's going to be pretty easy to grind but here you can see the crafting lab you can just walk in obviously the icon at the top there or the uh sign at the top there with rainbow on it obviously the same on the inside it's all rainbow here and then hugh the npc here it says the alphas helped me set up this crafting lab they say it's the best spot because it's close close to zios's energy too so uh this gimmick uh, that they, they added it Playing into the energy of, uh, you know, Myra and Zios, I guess. But as you can see here, very decorated with art and stuff. That's kind of the uh, whole premise of this. Um, as you can see here, there's a little blueprint icon. You're going to click on that. And once you do that, you can see items, which if you go in here, you can see a bunch of blueprints. I imagine there will be more blueprints added in the future. Maybe even tradable. I'm not too sure. I imagine that's probably going to be something that they do expand on because there is very few you can, you know, actually choose from right now. And then also with crafting crystals here, you have the option to get green, purple, orange, and frost. Now, how you get green, purple, orange, and frost is you combine other ones like the uh, for green here. You get you can combine yellow crafting crystals, which you need two of, and then blue. Also, you need two of to craft one green one, and you also need 300 gems. Then for the purple one, you need two red and two blue, also 200 gems for a purple crafting crystal. Then for orange, you also will need red and yellow, two of each, and 300 gems to make the orange one. And then for frost, this is kind of like the, um, I guess the best crystal you can get. Uh, you need one of each, or two of each color to make the frost crafting crystal, and you also need 5,000 gems. So. This seems to be like the uh, the superior crystal, I guess. And you know, you can use this and then use it in the crafting here when you have the blueprints. So how do the blueprints actually work? You have a bunch of colors here. You can set out the colors all in one spot here. And you need 15 of these to obviously make uh, the flower backpack here. So, you know, you can get a preview as well. 
it will show you when you put down your crystals and it will show the color on here obviously i don't have any right now so i can't really use this feature too much but pretty much how this works is you can lay out a bunch of different colored crystals and you can choose how the item actually ends up looking so for the flower backpack we saw there you need 15 same with the rose tiara obviously there's gems uh you also need for these but that's not really too big of a worry when it comes to uh, the grand scheme of things the gems um or the crystals are going to be the hardest things to get out of these but it seems like you need 15 of these crystals to actually craft all of these and then the gems prices uh, are varying per item so i think that's pretty much it when it comes to this i imagine they are probably going to expand on this in future updates or in the next coming of weeks even whether it come whether it be new blueprints or new colors of the crossing crafting crystals because obviously there's a you know white and then there's also black and then they could also go the route of like different hues of colors and different shades of colors and throw it in there so you can get like precise colors i imagine that's something they're going to do and i imagine they're also going to add more items here in the blueprints so you can actually craft different kind of items not just uh, secluded to these ones here anyway but um it actually does say here in the blueprints tab you need a blueprint to craft items for crafting crystals um, keep an eye out there are special blueprints you can find around Jamal but they can only be found only be used once so I guess there is already some other ones besides this that you can find around the game I imagine in you know the same kind of ways like you know digging up spades and then fighting mirrors corrupt mirror statues those kind of things I imagine that's how you can get it and um but yeah that's pretty much it that's gonna wrap up the video here i just wanted a clear video of uh you know all the information we're gonna know about this uh you know update so far and how it's gonna be expanded on in the future i think um it's gonna be pretty cool to see and this is a feature that a lot of people wanted for a while so i'm glad that they actually added this but uh yeah that's gonna wrap up the video here guys make sure to subscribe my notifications on if you guys do want to be notified on future videos as well as videos just like this one make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy today's video and let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below what is your guys's favorite color of crafting crystals and um do you have a favorite blueprint let me know in the comments and i will catch you guys in the next one